Welcome everyone to another episode of the Train Studio. I'm your host, Sean Morris. Thought I'd throw up a second update for this evening, uh, just coming off the tail end of a conversation that I had earlier today with uh, Ethan Thomas about uh, bolt action. He was kind enough to take uh, some time out of his day to, uh, you know, just give me some ins and outs of bolt action. We just talked a little bit about rules and some specifics for Germans and um, some interesting stuff that uh, re really going to help me out in my builds uh, and uh, help me go forward with bolt action from here. But uh, we also uh, had made mention of a conversation he was having with uh, with Dread about uh, workspaces and uh, how his was uh, so tidy. And then they were talking about uh, my space being uh, exceptionally clean. But I did want to show you guys it does get messy. So as you can see here, I have uh, lots of tools left out. Look how messy everything is here. That's you know that that doesn't even belong here. Um, so yeah, you know I got loose bits and pieces all over the place. So yeah, this place is a disaster. I'm thinking about uh, completely redoing the workspace now because it's kind of getting out of hand. So I um, thought I'd bring, uh, bring that up. But uh, while I got you guys on uh, camera here, I'll just show you what I was uh, doing this evening. Let's bring this in a little bit closer. Um, so I did uh, pin up the, uh, the Pack 40. Um, bring that in the, in the camera focus here. So I pinned up the Pack 40. Uh, I pinned under uh, the wheels. Um, so just underneath each of the tires, there is a small pin there. And then I pinned the uh, the two um, uh, crew here. Sorry, I got out of focus a little bit. So the loader, he's got the shell right in right in the breech, which I thought was kind of cool. And then I was able to get the um, oops the uh, gunner with his hand right on the controls. So that was a, a neat neat sort of uh, item. I also got the um, got the periscope here. He's uh, pinned up. I put a pin in his in his lifted foot. Uh, just because I'm likely going to have that uh, sticking into a log or something like that. So I just thought a pin would be um, worthwhile putting in there so I can do that up uh, later on. I also wanted to say that um, coming off the tail end of a, of a couple PMs, apparently uh, base size is not a big factor. So uh, this guy should be okay. This was the uh, prone uh, figure that I showed you guys before. And hopefully that will focus up, focus up. Perhaps, maybe not. Back out here a little bit. Oh, come on now. Uh, I'm not sure if you guys can see that or not, but uh, I did uh, mount a scope on that uh, on that rifle, so I did a little bit of uh, kit bashing and uh, mounted a scope on there. I just put some binos on his uh, on his gear as well, so I'll put a little strap going on that. So I figured this uh, prone character here may uh, maybe uh, used as a sniper, so. I might throw a little bit of uh, cam netting on him or, you know, maybe a, maybe a cloak or something like that just to cover up a little bit of his body. But certainly I can use the uh, foliage and the, and the um, terrain to uh, make that look a little bit better. But hopefully you guys can pick that, that scope up there. So uh, he did have a rifle, so I just basically, um, going from the, uh, from the rules there, I saw that the, they can use uh, rifles with scope. So I figured might as well give him one and... Uh, throw that on there. So that's really all I did tonight for the bolt action stuff. Did a little more cleaning of uh, pieces, but mostly it was just some pinning and uh, working on the Flames of War stuff. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that and uh, I'm going to get uh, off camera and start getting this workspace cleaned up because it's uh, driving me insane. So uh, I'll catch you guys in the next video and uh, have a good night. Cheers.